Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in gorgeous Grand Rapids, Michigan. Today it's my pleasure to tell you all about the 2017 Lance 1995. This is one of my favorite couples coaches. I'm really excited. Let's go ahead and start up front here. We'll make our way back and then head on in. One of the first things you'll notice is this right here, which is the power tongue jack. This is here to make your life easier. All you have to do is touch a button. That will raise and lower the tongue. That way you don't have to sit there without your arm cranking it. Also, if you want to light at night, you can just go ahead and flip a switch. There you go. Gives you a little bit of extra light right there. Behind that's the propane tank cover, the Hydra Unsightly propane tank. Tanks. Very easy to access those. Couple thumb screws here. Undo those, and you can see right there your two 20 pound tanks. Then, as we move back a little bit further, you'll see the uh, rails for the battery. If you notice, that is actually large enough to hold two batteries there. Uh, the coach does come with one, but if you want a second, you can always have it installed. Then, underneath that is the spare tire. So, that's great as well. Um, you know, that way it's a great peace of mind. Hopefully, you never have to use it, but in the event that you do, you know that you have it right there, so you'll be good in that event. Also, battery disconnect tuck away, tucked away right down there. Um, you know, that again is great. So, when you're unhooking for the seat, all you have to do is turn that. You don't have to disconnect anything uh, from the battery. Again, just making life as easy as possible. And the front end here as a whole, you'll see the rock guard on here, which helps protect the front end from any chips. You have LED lights that are inlaid right in here on both sides. This beautiful fiberglass front end. And then right here, you have this window. This really gives it a great look, that curved glass that's on there. And you'll see when you go inside, it lets in a ton of natural light. It's a big window right above the bed, which is awesome. Awesome. Come around to the side here, open this guy up for you. This is where your uh, sewer hose would go. Nice and easy to get into that. Pass through storage. This is cool too, so you have the magnetic latch right there. Boom, done. Take a look at this, this tray. You pull this guy out, a huge tray, ton of storage. The thing I love about this is it makes it very easy to access everything in your pass-through. You don't have to sit there and try to fish for it, you know, use a broom to try to bring things over to you. You can grab whatever you want, pull this tray out, and again, just makes life easy to get to. Uh, also, on both sides, you have a little bit of extra room there, so if you do have longer items you need to shove down in there, you can certainly do that too. Frameless dual pane windows on here. Uh, not only do these look absolutely amazing, but they also are great for insulation. Not just to keep the, the heat or the cold in, but also the sound. You know, it's great for noise insulation from the campground. If it's really loud at night, these will help you sleep. Uh, also, because of the way they open, the action kind of tilts open this way. That will allow you to have these open while it rains. So again, get a nice cross breeze even in the rain. Uh, so just a phenomenal window right there. Now, uh, a couple of things I do love about Lance too. Um, one is the connection system itself. So the way Lance works, a lot of people you know, don't know this, uh, but most manufacturers, when they connect your floor to the wall, they just put a couple screws in and call it good. All right, And that's what holds your wall in place, a couple screws. Well, while that's all good and great, it's not a very secure system. What Lance does is they actually use what they call the Lance Lock system, which is an extruded piece of metal they put in between the floor and the wall where it sits sits right in a groove, sits right in there. So even without anything else holding it in place, that wall is sitting in a channel. So you know it's not moving anywhere. Then they screw into it, securing that wall. It is a far superior system to any other construction method out there. If you take a look right down here, uh, there's a propane quick connect. So if you want to hook up a grill, that's not a problem. Nice and easy to go ahead and hook up. You know, that way you don't have to use your little small tanks. Just plug in right there, you'll feed off the 60 pound tanks. Uh, Another thing, Lance is 100%, uh, at least in 1995 here, is 100% four season camper. All right, that means you can camp in the middle of winter if you want to, you won't have a problem. A couple different reasons. One is an enclosed and heated underbelly. All right, that helps keep stuff out, also helps keep your lines from freezing. But Lance actually goes a step uh, beyond what most manufacturers do. Most will put, you know, essentially it's like a glorified cardboard underneath there, and then run some heat ducts and call it good. Lance, because they know that you're going to use this in colder conditions, they will actually take your tanks, drop it into a whole separate uh, tank, almost like another tank compartment, and then they will run heat ducts into that. So essentially you have a tank within a tank, so it's just heating that space, guaranteeing your tanks won't freeze. Again, it is the best system out there for four season capability uh, on a travel trailer. Uh, travel trailer, it's absolutely phenomenal. 
Take a look right here, you'll see the aluminum wheels. Of course, those look phenomenal. Also helps prevent any kind of rust or corrosion. And they're nitrogen filled, so you'll have a little bit more even ride, uh, more, or more even tire wear, better ride. And they claim with nitrogen fill, you get a little bit better gas mileage. Right here uh, is your electrical outlets. So, um, you know, the great thing about the electrical outlets there is, you know, if you, again, if you want to set up an electric griddle or something out here, put a table, have a margarita bar, put a blender out here, you can do that too. Oh, one thing I did, for, uh, did forget to mention on the tires as well, um, these do have self-adjusting brakes. Uh, so that's great too. What a lot of people, you know, again, is if you're starting to get into an RV, ownership, things you don't know, over time you have to readjust your brakes. So that's something you have to come in, get some maintenance done on them. Lance is one of the few that have self-adjusting. So as you're going down the road, the brakes will adjust themselves, eliminating the need for you to have to get that maintenance. So, you know, just one of the many things that Lance does for you. Take a look up top here, you'll see some outside speakers. Uh, those are controlled by the multimedia center inside, however they are Bluetooth capable. So if uh, you, know, you want to sit out here and control your music, you can certainly do that. You'll just use your smartphone or tablet, connect to the, multi or the uh, uh, multimedia center in there via your Bluetooth, and you can go ahead and control the music from right out here. Also, right above that, you'll see the Carefree of Colorado Armless Awning. These are sweet too. So most of your power awnings, they have arms that you know are, are going vertical like this. The big disadvantage of that is it kind of boxes you out. You know, you kind of have this section where you know that you have the arms in the way. These you don't have that at all. Just one touch of a button. Legitimately, you don't have to sit there and hold it. You touch it, it goes ahead and rolls itself out, has an LED light to shine back on you. It also has a wind sensor. So that's one of the other things. One of the complaints you hear with power awnings is you know oh well it broke off and you know wasn't as strong as my standard awning well this one has a wind sensor built in so if you do have too much wind it'll go ahead and roll back up on you uh, now you can shut that off if you're in a naturally windy place like by a beach uh, you know you just have to make sure you watch your awning then coming to the back right here, getting into the coach is an absolute breeze. You know, Lance is lightweight, they're all about towability, so they keep a low profile trailer. Because the higher it is up off the ground, uh, you know, essentially the more wind you're going to catch above the tow vehicle. So by keeping it low, it gives you some of that added towability. So they only need two steps to get in. Nice and easy. The first one you can see is low. It's not a big step at all. You have the easy grab handle right here as well to help you from the first step all the way into the coach. Another feature that's on here is keyless entry. If you do happen to forget your keys or accidentally lock them inside, not a problem. You have a code, go ahead and hit that and it will unlock the coach for you. Come around to the back side. Take a look at this ladder. You know, this is just one of those things, again, when we're talking about Lance, talking about quality, they don't put a chintzy ladder on here where, you know, as you walk, it, as you're walking up, you feel like it's gonna tear out of the fiberglass or snap in half. You know, I'm, I'm a, not a small guy, I weigh about 215. I have no fear on this ladder whatsoever. It's extremely easy to climb up. You can see how it's nice and thick. Uh, you know, obviously everything's attached there. The cool thing about this, it eliminates the need for you to have to bring a ladder. You can get up on the roof, you can do any kind of maintenance you want, sweep it off, you're done camping you know and again you'll feel safe with the ladder right there the jack systems they use you know I, I have one down here on the stabilizer jacks you can see how it comes down on an angle so the cool thing about this is you know essentially they're uh, utilizing the static forces you can see a triangle right here that's going to give you some great stability uh, a lot better than your standard scissor jack so again upgraded jacks on this coach Come around to the side right over here, outside shower. This has both hot and cold access. You can see right there, little shower head. So if you need to you know, wash the dog or wash your feet off, you can certainly do that. Detachable power cord right here as well. Connections for your cable and satellite. And then uh, right there is for your uh, water intake. So one other th cool thing that Lance does, you know, again, they're thinking of you, thinking of maintenance, trying to make it as easy as possible. Right here are the uh, shower valves for your inlets into the shower. So if you do have any kind of leaks, you need to access it. Look how easy that is. You don't have to tear things apart. You know, again, Lance is just thinking ahead for you. Last but not least, uh, you know, take a look at how deep this slide is. This is a lightweight trailer. You have a really deep slide on here, which is phenomenal. Schwinn Tech slides. Um, now, the reason I, <laughs> the reason I tell you that, 
A lot of people have bad taste in their mouth about Schwintech. They took a lot of heat a couple years ago. Uh, the main reason for it, they weren't using the correct components. They're using aluminum instead of a steel shaft, and people didn't quite understand how Schwintech work. So there's four motors essentially. Those motors have to sync up when the slide comes all the way out. Same thing when it goes back in. Uh, what people were doing is only bringing it half out, half in, not letting those motors sync up. In conjunction with that shaft, they're having all sorts of issues. It has been remedied. Schwintech, in my personal opinion, is one of the best slides in the industry. A lot of your huge Class A, you know, half a million dollar coaches use Schwintech. Lance uses Schwintech. There's good reason for it. So you have the Schwintech slide on here. Phenomenal system. And take a look at this. We move over a little bit further. Not only do you have that huge storage in front, but look at this right here. Huge storage right here in this side as well. Just giving you, you know, just maximizing that space, giving you all the storage possible. All right, I know we kind of covered a lot on the outside, but it's Lance, there's a lot to cover. It's phenomenal. Let's go take a look Welcome at the Welcome to the inside of the 2017 Lance 1995. This particular model is in the Palm Springs interior. Let's go ahead and start on the back here. As soon as you walk in, you'll see this excellent storage closet, which is wonderful for taller items like brooms or mops. And you also have the rack going across the top. Right next to that over here is a perfect coat closet. So that way when you come in, if it's colder weather, take your jacket off, go ahead and hang it right up there. And then you have two large full extension drawers beneath that. The very bottom here, we'll open this guy up. See right there is your water heater that also does have your bypass for winterization. One thing I do want to mention about these drawers, it's really cool, these do have mag uh, magnetic closing drawers. So when it closes, it kind of comes in the rest just like that for you, nice slow close. Excellent drawer quality. Uh, I'll show you some more as we go throughout, but it's great quality throughout the entire coach. Bathroom door right here as we walk in. Uh, down in the corner is your foot flush toilet. Over, uh, right above rather, is the uh, towel rack. Then over to the side is your Neo Angle shower with a hand wand right there. And then right over here is the um, sink top and vanity with your uh, towel holder and then mirrored medicine cabinet with decorative light right above that. So a couple other things of note, one thing I do want to point out, right up here, if you come take a look, this is your multimedia center. So this is what controls the speakers outside as well as the speakers in here. Uh, do note, this is Jensen Electronics, which is a big deal. That's a top name brand in electronics. Uh, the TV is also Jensen. I'll get to that in a little bit. But that is a radio CD and DVD player. So if you want to watch a movie, go ahead and pop it in and you can watch it on the TV. Now right down here, you'll see a key ring. So you can go ahead and hang your keys up as soon as you come in little extra holder right there so you know they it's just a lot of little things that Lance does is what really helps build the uh, quality in the Lance story and then great countertop space especially for a camper of this size they really improve that by giving you a sink top cover as well as the cooktop cover we'll start right here on the sink this sink top cover is cutting board quality you can just flip that guy over go ahead and use it as a cutting board big round sink and this is deep so if you have larger pots and pans you can go ahead and set them down in there pull out faucet which is great for washing dishes and bear in mind this is actual residential hardware this is not the cheap plastic you generally see in RVs this is the real deal right here so just kind of goes to show you some of the quality that Lance is putting in their campers of course a window here decorative backsplash right there three burner cook uh, Atwood cooktop this does fold up the cover does kind of making like a secondary backsplash uh, but your front burner on here is high output great flame control on the Atwood as well and then you have the oven underneath for any kind of baking. If you want to plug anything in, it's not a problem. Yeah, I do have a plug in right there, so you can go ahead and plug in coffee maker, toaster, blender, whatever you may have. Let's take a look up top. Uh, one thing I do want to show you, if you take a look right here where the cabinet meets the ceiling, look at how flush that is. Most manufacturers, in fact, no other manufacturers to my knowledge out there are currently have the capability to do this. Uh, most of them have to have gimp molding they put up there to hide the imperfections. Lance doesn't have to because they laser uh, cut CNC everything so it is absolute precision. This is light plies, what this wood is called. It's very durable, um, you know, and it's uh, very lightweight, which really helps lower the weight like in this coach. But as far as strength, I mean, I'll open this door up. You can take a look, I mean, that stuff is solid. You'll also notice up here, you know, plenty of storage. They did a great job with this storage area right there. 
Over to the side here is the microwave. As I mentioned, lightweight, 4,355 pounds. That is phenomenal. Uh, right beneath the microwave is a fully functional hood with a light and a fan. Also, we'll take a look right underneath here, underneath the sink. You see some great storage there. Right here are your pull-out drawers. Now, uh, these are plastic. I get a lot of people that question me, you know, why do they put plastic in such a nice unit? But they do it for versatility. You can take these out. You can use them as a wash basin outside. They're easy to clean. It just gives you the versatility that Lance is looking for. And so I personally love them. I think it's a really cool idea. Rounding out the uh, kitchen right here is your Norcold fridge and freezer combo. You can take a look there. Six cubic foot, plenty of room. You have a cutout there as well. Thermostat right here on the front. This unit does run off of propane and electric. It also has automatic switchover, which means that uh, if you're running it off propane, plug it into shore power, it'll automatically switch over for you, saving you on your propane gas. If we take a look over here, this of course is our slide. So again, just over 4,300 pounds and you get this huge slide. You know, again, most manufacturers can't do that. Lance is able to, and I love this slide. Now, a lot of people also ask me why this slide is raised. It's pretty simple. But if you remember me talking while we were outside, I mentioned great towability on the Lance. That lightweight is part of it. Another part of it is being low profile. So most manufacturers that have a flush floor slide, what they do, they raise the entire floor up so it's level with this part right here, which in turn, of course, raises the entire height of the camper. When you do that, you're getting more wind resistance over top of the vehicle. So instead, Lance keeps it nice and low and then just builds up the slide. So as we look in here, you'll see a huge U-shaped dinette, which is great, extremely comfortable. You have pillows there in the corner so you can lean up against the corner. Great windows all the way around, letting in a ton of natural light. Uh, also right up here, this is pretty neat. This is on a dimmer switch right here, so you can go ahead and control that light. It gives it a nice effect. And then if you take a look underneath the dinette, take a look here. Now these do locks, they don't open during travel, but look how easy and large that storage compartment is. Absolutely phenomenal. Uh, you know, I love that they did this, it's a great system. Then right over there is an electrical outlet, so if you need to sit in the dinette, plug in a laptop or tablet, you can certainly do that. All right, let's move up a little bit further here. Uh, a couple things that I do wanna show you. We'll start in the bedroom. Uh, one of the big things you'll notice, of course, is the bed right here. This is a full residential 60 by 80 queen size bed. Big advantage of that, one is if you're a taller person, your feet won't hang off, and unless they hang off your, your bed at home currently, but uh, you know, having that full 80 inches is very advantageous. Also, if you ever need to change the mattress out, if you ever need a new mattress, you can go ahead and buy a residential mattress mattress and replace uh, this one with that one. So that's a really cool feature. Also all around the sides of the bed here you can see the the cabinetry. Now all their cabinetry is again residential grade. They use that light ply. It's all screw, uh, screwed and glued. Just phenomenally built. But both sides you'll see right up here you have hanging rods. So that way you have wardrobe space on either side. Back, or you have backlighting kind of accent lighting throughout. You have lighting up here as well as down there. It gives it a really cool look. And two LED reading lights there as well. Big nightstand right here on both sides, so if you need a glass of water, plug in and charge your cell phone, you can do that. As you have plug-ins on both sides, uh, the one side over there actually has your 12 volt as well as two USB ports there too. Um, but if you do have a CPAP machine, there is enough space here, so that's not a problem either. Again, you can sleep on either side of the bed. You also get big drawers on either side too, so you know again, more storage, uh, which is great. So anything you need to you know put next to the bedside, you can. And again, one more time, that also has those magnetic slow close drawers. Huge window right here in the front. I talked to you about that when we were outside. Looks gorgeous, lets in a ton of natural light as well. If you take a look at the ceiling up top here, you'll see your two speakers that are connected to that multimedia center in case you want to play some music. And then right there is your fantastic fan, which gets an amazing ventilation. If you don't want to run the AC, just pop open some windows, turn that guy on, and you can get an excellent breeze running through here. On this wall right over here, you can see it does come with a clock. Right underneath that, a thermostat, an additional plug-in, and then a magazine rack there. Then last thing I want to talk about right over here is the TV. As I mentioned, this is a Jensen TV. Uh, this does swing all the way out and around, so if you want to watch it in the kitchen or you dine at, you can. Or of course, leave it right here and you can watch it uh, right in bed. Uh, also, they have this guy right here, which is the King Jack. This is an upgraded TV uh, antenna, so you don't have to worry about raising it up and down and forgetting to lower it and then have it break off. You just go ahead and turn it to find the best signal.
All right, folks, that's pretty much gonna wrap it up. Uh, again, this is the 2017 Lance 1995. This one is in the Palm Springs interior. If you're looking for a quality coach, it's gonna last you a lifetime. You will not be disappointed with any Lance product. And this floor plan is one of the best couple coach floor plans out there. You have a ton of space. You have excellent quality, especially in the build. The things Lance does, it's the little things that add up that put them above their competition. If you do have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave those in the comment section below, or you can always give myself Ian Baker a call here at American RV and I'll be happy to answer that way as well. If you're looking for particular specs on this unit or price and availability, I recommend you visit our website at AmericanRV.com for the most up-to-date information. Thanks again for watching, I'm Ian Baker and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.